amazing dessert and it's layered. So our first layer is going to be our crust in the bottom. We are going to go ahead and chop up all the nuts to use in the recipe since we're using our chopper. We'll be using one cup of dry roasted peanuts. And I had a few extra in there. And we're gonna chop these up with my pull chopper. When I use a pull chopper, I like to rotate it between each pull. Roasted, you gotta get dry roasted peanuts. Most people have some at home already. So in the first layer, we'll be using a cup of flour and we're gonna use all purpose because you don't want this to puff up and rise. So you got a cup of all-purpose flour, a stick of butter, room temperature, and I'm gonna cut this in to my flour, then we're gonna add the peanuts to it. I'm gonna use this blending fork and cut this butter into my flour. This is one of my favorite tools in the kitchen amazing. The butter or shortening or whatever you're cutting in doesn't get stuck in between the teeth like they do in those other pastry blenders. Okay, so we're just going to cut this in until it looks like most of the butter is more like pea size. Now we're going to add two-thirds cup of these peanuts. So we're really just using two thirds of what's in here. Now we're gonna mix it up. It already smells like peanut butter. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the bottom. This is a nine inch cheesecake pan. And since this is in layers, I thought it'd be neat to make it in a cheesecake pan, and that way we can take the side off and you'll be able to see the layers and serve it cut up like kind of like a pie. So you're going to need to use your hands and press this in the bottom of this pan. I'm going to put a little flour on my hands because it wants to all this butter in there wants to stick to my hands. And we're gonna bake this for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. All right. Boy, I'm gonna love this. It's a lot like Chocolate Delight, which is one of my very favorite desserts, but it's peanut butter with cream cheese and oh, it's just gonna be so good. While that's cooking, you can start mixing up your puddings and getting your other layers ready. But to mix something this time, all right, we're gonna take a cup of powdered sugar. I am sifting mine because it is a little lumpy and um, I want this to look pretty and creamy when I'm done. So this is a cup of powdered sugar. I got this little sifter from a viewer who sent it to me. She said it had my mama written all over it. And while I'm on the note about my mother, I'm gonna show y'all something today. So I decided during the holidays I was going to wear this because I was in there looking for my fall pins and I happened upon this and this was my mother's. So I found a chain. It took me forever to find a chain small enough and I got it on here and I'm going to be wearing it. But it's a locket that mama had and when you open it, it's got her senior picture and her baby picture in it. So more than likely, this is something that she had when she was a senior, which would have been in, she was born in 44. So it was probably in the late 50s. But I've got her close to my heart while I'm cooking for the holidays. Okay, so we've got the cup of powdered sugar, and now we're gonna add a third cup of yummy Jeff peanut butter, creamy Jeff. 
And now, cheese. Cream cheese, eight ounces, room temperature. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. And we're gonna add some whipped topping, but I'm gonna mix this up and get it creamy first. Now we're gonna add a cup of Cool Whip. Delicious peanut butter cream cheese layer. Now I'm gonna rinse these off because we're gonna mix up our pudding next. All right, our crust is ready. Now you're gonna to wanna to cool this com crust completely before you put these cold ingredients on top of it. So make sure you bring it to a cool temperature. You don't have to put it in the refrigerator, but it needs to be at least cooled down to room temperature first. Bottom layers out of the oven, cheesecake layers ready. Next up, pudding. You're gonna use two packs of pudding, and they're the 3.4 ounce size. You need one vanilla and one chocolate and two and three quarter cups of milk. One vanilla, one chocolate. And our milk. And I'm gonna go ahead and beat this up by hand until it thickens just a little bit because I don't want it to splatter all over my kitchen. So, if you do it this way, then you don't make a mess all over the place. Give it a couple of minutes to start setting up, and then use the large mixer if you want to use a large mixer. Um, you don't even have to use a large mixer. You can just use a whisk. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit here for about a minute or two, and then I'm gonna come back and blend it really well with my electric mixer. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. I actually cleaned up my mess. You can see that it's already thick, but I wanna blend it to make sure that it's mixed really good. So I'm gonna use my mixer. Now this is thicker than regular pudding because it's gonna be on a layer that you know, you're gonna to wanna to be able to slice it and serve it. So you don't put the full amount of milk that the pudding calls for. Use what's on the recipe. Another thing is, when you do the cream cheese layer and you do the topping for the top of the pie, when you're using the whipped topping, make sure you're using whipped topping and not fresh cream, whipping cream, because that will fall and not hold up. And this is a layered pie that you're gonna wanna stay, it to stay in place. All right, now we're waiting on our base to cool. We'll be layering it with this chocolate pudding, the cream cheese mixture. We'll be putting Cool Whip on the top. We're gonna sprinkle these roasted peanuts on top and grate this candy bar. Wow. Now, let me say this, this layer, this peanut butter layer, is just like my peanut butter pie. So if you've tried it and you love it, this recipe is gonna be over the top delicious. All right, we're gonna finalize this dessert. This is the peanut butter cheesecake. This layer is just like my peanut butter pie. So this is combining my two favorite recipes in the world, my peanut butter pie and chocolate delight. And we're putting it in a cheesecake pan so that when we open it up on the sides, it'll look layered. It's gonna be really pretty. And you don't have to use a cheesecake pan. I just thought it'd be really pretty too. So I'm gonna get it pretty even before I put it around the edge. All right, now I'm gonna start pushing it on around to the edge. Chocolate pudding next.
and you're going to want this to sit in the refrigerator, I would say overnight before you serve it, and that way it'll be good and set up. Chocolate meets peanut butter. Cool Whip. Scrape it all out to get it even. I want the top to be even, and that way when we slice it, it's going to be pretty. It's going to take a whole 16 ounce tub of Cool Whip. So just take your spatula and try to get it in there straight. You can use a, a little spatula and, you know, just put a little bit of a Swirl on the top. Now for those of you who are diabetic, you could always use the sugar-free pudding and the light Cool Whip because the peanut butter is fine. The crust on the bottom didn't have any sugar in it and um, the cream cheese layer doesn't have sugar in it. Buy you some sugar-free Jell-O instant pudding and it does come sugar-free in vanilla and chocolate and make this diabetic style. Boy, will you be happy you did. All right, now we're going to take the rest of our chopped peanuts and we're going to sprinkle the top. And I'm just going to put enough on here to be pretty. I'm not going to use all of them. I'm just taking a potato peeler and curling up some chocolate for the top. There we have it. Now when we take that side off, when we get ready to serve it, you'll be able to see the layers, which is not something you can normally do with the Chocolate Delight. And um, it's just gonna be a wonderful dessert. All right, are y'all ready to see this masterpiece? This is my two favorite desserts, chocolate delight and my peanut butter cream cheese pie in one. Let's take the reveal off the sides. We put it in a cheesecake pan and see how it turned out. Looks good. Now we're going to comb it just to make it even prettier. So I'm going to take this comb and I'm just going to start and go around. Now I'm planning to serve it like a slice of cake or pie. Um, and I'm hoping that it cuts well and it transfers well and we're about to see if it's going to work. The idea is good. I'm just not sure if it's going to work. We're about to see. Now, I will say, if the kids are going to eat this, you're going to have to help them get it because of the crust on the bottom. But it didn't stick to the plate bad. Boy, that's good. That is a super duper delicious dessert for real.
And it is pretty. Mm -hmm. Even if you just put it in a pan, it'd be pretty. Yeah. Even without, you know, doing all that. Wow. It's really good, ain't it? <laughs> you like that. If you're the aunt that makes this this holiday. You're going to be the favorite. Or uncle. They'll remember you forever. Oh. It's so good. I hope you enjoy this this holiday season. I can guarantee you one thing. I'm going to have to, I don't know what I'm going to do with this dessert because it's going to haunt me in the refrigerator. And I'm going to have a really hard time not wanting to eat every bit of it. It's a good thing me and Chris are going out of town in a few days. Woo! 